So, let's talk about it. Coke boys lost another fallen member. You feel me? It's a lot going on in the Bronx. It's a very scary time to live in New York, especially if you're in the Bronx. Now, Coke boy Flip, Federal Flip, he just lost his life. Six days after coming home from the feds, he ain't here no more. John Melville, he died almost a day ago after being shot in the back of the head. Now, that's French Montana and them partner, original Coke boy member. Thorough member, original and everything. I'm about to play the video. Now, Coke Boy Flip was only 37 years old. Before I get started, I need y'all to hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm going to play the video right quick to look at the situation right quick. News right now, this out of the Bronx, a 37-year-old man was shot in the head and killed tonight. Police say that man was shot in front of 1292 Washington Avenue, this in Marisania. He was brought to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police tonight continue to search for whomever is responsible. Now, there's been a lot of stories about it, right? A lot of rumors. Before we even get into fake rumors and all that and what bloggers are already saying about it, I'm going to just keep keeping y'all informative. Hit that like button again. I'm going to play two more videos right quick. Copyright usage and fair uses in that. Now the scene you watching here is the scene of where Federal Flip got hit, you feel me, where the drive-by took place. I'm going to tell you the address and everything, you feel me? Right here is the worst place you can come through during the, any type of situation, bruh. This is 169, you feel me, street on Washington Avenue, you feel me? Like, like it's near Claremont Village. And I remember when I was living in New York, like a lot of people used to call it 169 on um, Washington the Nine. You feel me? The Nine ain't a place for you to really be trying to sleep through at and, 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 and doing your dirt so, or coming back and you know karma is gonna make you reap what you sow. Some of y'all could catch what I'm saying. Now before before we get lit, one more video is a young lady who actually recorded the situation. Um, I'll be playing the full video separately from here, but I'll play like a minute or two. Maybe like a minute, 50 seconds for y'all right quick. A uh, federal flip of the um, officers trying to save his life. I think there was like a man shot. I heard three gunshots. He's laying on the floor right now. I don't know who it is. resuscitating him I'm gonna be real with y'all I don't want to play the whole thing on this video because I'm about to speak on it and go in flip basically was shot and killed in the Bronx on Thursday you feel me Thursday night late night he died around not died but he got hit around like Early in the evening, around 7.45 p.m., something like that. I think that's the exact time they gave, 7.45. And he was killed on a drive-by. I don't know what he was doing in that bodega area, but he was in front of that, I think, 1292, the, the, the address of the building. But, you know, it's on 169th, the 9th, on Washington uh, Avenue. You feel me? A treacherous place. Ask anybody from New York, they'll tell you about the 9. Lately, the Bronx been up there. A lot of people getting hit. In the Bronx, bro, it's just been real nasty out there. Now, we know at that corner in the Bronx when he got hit, it was a lot of people in that area. Like when I put up the video that y'all could see, I'm gonna put it up again. <coughs> y'all could, I'm gonna put the links for y'all to watch this video over here, and you could fast forward it. Some of his homies and his people was going brazy at the scenes while the cops was trying to save him. And some of y'all bloggers I heard was saying something slick about his people who was right there. Bro, if your people get hit and they on the ground like that and people throwing commands and all that, you could lose your mind and it could be an emotional situation and you're going to say that. Now, especially around a street like Washington, bro, it, it, it's, it's an old fell street, bro. Since the 80s, they've been giving it like that over there. You hear me? 
You talk to any older cat, new cat, especially the older ones, bro, them hustlers like that, man. Bro, niggas been getting it in. It's been failed and getting it in and all that since the 80s. Ain't nothing changed over there. All of New York is like that, but the 9, come on, man. He got to have a reason he was there. Maybe the homies is there. He's a wolf, allegedly. So you you going to be friends amongst the wolves who's around you. You feel me? Now... I'm looking at the situation like the gu gunmen's open fire from a gray Lexus they were saying. They said a Lexus. Somebody said a Lexus came back two times. Me, I see a vehicle come back two times. I'm already getting paranoid the first time they slide by. But if I know the vehicle and I know I'm a wolf, I'm going to try to keep my head on the swivel. This why why y'all be like, why I be looking this way and all that, bro? It's because where I'm at doing these videos. If I'm somewhere where it's sunny and palm trees and all that doing a video... I'm going to be a little bit lightly looking and all that. But if I'm in the trenches, like, listen, gang, you got to you gotta stay alert to stay alive in these tr uh, tr uh, trying times, bro. Now, nah, they struck Federal Flip in the back of the head, bro. Like, they rushed Flip to the hospital. Now, the hospital he went to, Barnas Boss Hospital. I'm going to tell you how I got this story and know it even happened. One of my military bros... Is from New York, from the Bronx in particular, and his wife work at that hospital. The whole family was going crazy. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. The family was going wild in the hospital. And if you from the block, you got somebody you love, neighborhood superstar, things like that. He get hit, he dying, or they give the breaking news. Folks do flip out. I seen people flipped out for the square type of dude. Imagine what they do for them dudes who was really getting it in. It's just a sad situation all around, just to be honest with you, man. He died just one day before he turned 38 years old. You hear me? His birthday was going to happen one day before he got killed. That, like, like that got to hit a family hard, bro. You just came six days after coming home, one day from your birthday, and you get killed, King. 2010, this man... This man, bro, Federal Flip, bro, he began working for Colt Boy Records like around the 2010, 2000, 2009 and 2010 area. You feel me? That's the time period he, he, he slid in there. He always said that he worked for the likes of, I think, um, he was, he said, I'm an entertainer for How's That Entertainment since like 2000. You know what I mean? Like this man has history behind his music thing, not just streets. Dudes always get animated and hype the street shit, but dude really was into this entertainment field that's called hip-hop. A lot of people don't want to get into that. Now, French Montana losing everybody, gang. He losing everybody. French also was hit in the head. Remember that? When he when he was doing the DVD blogs. Y'all remember that? He was, to me, I like, I like to call him one of the original bloggers. You feel me? That's what French Montana used to be. Still a real street cat, but... He had his thing back in, in in them days or whatever, and he got hit in the head. Like, he been through some of these trenches, too. I remember Flip from when French Montana was coming up in them DVDs. Remember the Colt Boys mixtapes was fire, bro? Fire mixtapes. I'm looking at the situation like, damn, bro. Like, it don't matter what good you do. People always going to remember the bad and not just the people. The people you allegedly did them bad things too. Like, karma never forgets a face, bro, and never forgets any actions. There's always consequences for all repercussions. Rest in peace, the federal flip. And it's like, I'm still like, like I'm still a fan. You feel me? I, I, I remember like the like I, I had a tape. Remember the thing that was called um Fuck love and I'm paid. Like, he had bangers, bro. Dudes don't even like talking about that. He wasn't no flunky. He wasn't just a wolf out here. My nigga had talents, bro. He really had talent. And it's a shame, bro. Like, to, like he, he, he's around my generation, bro. And to see a dude like that, you think of your own mortality. And you think, like, it is a blessing to really still be alive out here. Folks is getting waxed and sniped real quick out here, bro. And folks is looking at these stories like it's just everyday normal, even though it does happen every day. But have some type of compassion and sympathy. But people really do believe sympathy and compassion is what gets you killed and tricked out the streets. Streets ain't married to nobody, bro. It never did, bro. Flip and Chinks was both fired on the coke boards, bro. Original member, you feel me? 
They build up that real street status and, and cemented coke boys, bro. Dudes don't talk about that. Now, both of them ain't even here, man. Rest in peace to Chinks and Flip. Like, the fact that we saying rest in peace to Flip, you thinking a man, you know, he got rehabilitated. He coming home to a different mindset. He coming to get that money. What was he doing down there that day on the 9? You feel me? 169, bro. We don't need to get into what he was doing there. Did he get tricked out of his position? Did he get backdoored? It don't even matter, bro. You know these consequences can happen when you have one foot in, one foot out, two foot in. It don't matter. You was part of the streets. Streets will never let you go. You can't divorce the streets. Streets ain't married to nobody, but you can't divorce it neither. They believe you in a, a, a unmarried relationship that's going to last forever. From to death do us part. You hear me? I ain't gonna even lie. Even saying rest in peace, everybody said rest in peace. But he's probably not even resting in peace if he didn't even repent or anything like that or even get the chance, bro. You Or maybe he did get the chance, but I don't believe you die like that. You not resting in peace, bro. If you kill me like that, I'm not resting in peace. I don't know what the spiritual world is after this death situation, but I know like, if I can have a thing to say about it or any type of powers after this life, I ain't resting in no peace, bro. You, but you also got to remember, you can't do dirt on the streets and think you're going to make it out, bro. You're going to make it to this spiritual heaven world when you die. And I don't, and maybe you do. I don't know because I think this is hell, gang. This already hell. I really, I think it's heaven and hell depending on the, the path of life that you take to make this world that's called life, bro. I really do, bro. The problem is people forget Look, the problem is people forget the foul ish they do out here to the people, but the people never forget. You might have did your time and you locked up in there. You you coming home, motherfuckers got a bag now. You coming home to the bag, but then people don't forget the foul things you did. They never forget, bro. It goes on forever. They remember that thing forever, bro. They can get Alzheimer's, but they remember a face. <laughs> Funny, bro. Growing up on the block, that's the thing you hear all the time. I always remember a face. And you understand why the older dudes used to tell you that. Or even the grandfathers. or Just everybody who have experience and season in life. You never forget a face, bro. Something like that is what you go to sleep. It either haunts you or it builds you up. It builds character. But that character could either be the wolf or be the stand-up individual that just let bygones be bygones. Some people ain't doing that, Jack. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard to love one another, man. Like, it's not hard to love somebody. So where all this hate come from? But you be stirring up that pot. You mix it. You stir it. You stir it. Now you got an ingredient. You done build up a disaster that can't even be died down, bro. You feel me? The way I see it, man, karma has everything to do with it. Me personally, I'm just being honest. Maybe I might be wrong, but karma has everything to do with everything in life. That energy is real. I may not be able to explain God, but I know damn sure we have energy in us. You can feel that thing every day. You can feel it. It's in you. It's intact, bro. Like, there's a reason he got shot and killed on the nine. You know, the nine is a treacherous place. There's a reason, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got killed right after being let out. And on the nine, you've been chilling during them six days. I don't know what you've been doing. You probably been with family and friends, chasing tell. I know I would. I don't know. Maybe you married. Excuse me. Rest in peace. But it's cold, bro. It's cold. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, the nigga wasn't soft, man. Flip wasn't no pie-ass niggas. None of that. He wasn't no goofy. He wasn't no F-boy. He was really giving it out here, bro. You speak to anybody down there, bro. The man was giving it out, man. I see Hassan Campbell did a video about it, too. I would like to salute him for at least, you know, giving some type of light to Because he from the Bronx. The Bronx is going crazy, bro. That's all. It's like a 12, uh, uh, well, that was in Brooklyn. A 12-year-old kid just got, I ain't, educational purpose. I don't even want to bring that story up. I didn't even cover that story. But, but the Bronx alone, man, even one of our bloggers, Pierce, just lost his son. I think his name is Let's Talk or whatever. He just lost his son in the Bronx, bro. Uh, 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 aspiring rapper, bro. He, we living in the last days, bro. I really do be feeling like that, man. Someone made him basically, you know, into an organ donor before his time and he was ready to. 
I've heard people saying this phrase in the Oregon door. I'm not even being funny. Ain't nothing funny about that. It's sad, gang. I may not be saying no crocodile tip, but just I bro, you you hear some shit like that, and it's like, even if he had his coming to him, bro, these stories is still like, damn, bro. Rest in peace, the federal flip for real, man. That it's kind of different, bro. It's a big difference between dudes who's getting money and getting busy versus a dude that's struggling and get busy. Bro, you got to trust me on that, bro. Look at his scene, bro. These, like, I don't want these scenes that you've seen on your screen to be my last moment living, bro. I don't want this to be what my family is seeing out here, bro. I don't want that type of life, that type of situation, bro. I don't want to see that, bro. I really think... You feel me? Like, like, this struggle situation is really what we cause upon our own selves, bruh. We can make things better, but we don't shake it the right way. Rest in peace to Ching's drugs, man. Rest in peace to Flip. Free that man, Charlie. And pray for Cheese, man. You feel me? Pray for Cheese, man. And free that boy, Charlie, man. These coke boys been been through a lot. And they still here, man. I can't wait when the wave come home. Max B, we waiting on you, bro. Like, this shit crazy, bro. The state that New York is in right now, bro, it's it's actually sad and unfortunate, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It make me kind of sad as fuck right now, dog. It's like, ain't nothing really thrilling. or it's, Bro, it's like, damn. Th like, he did almost 10 years in the feds to come home that type of fuckery, bro. You feel me? But did he forget the dirt he did? You feel me? Allegedly pulling them sticks on people, bro. I heard the rumors, bro. That blood lifestyle, bro. That gang, gang, gang lifestyle is real. It's a family for real. I agree with all gang, mem gang members when they say, don't call us a gang. We a family. But that lifestyle is treacherous and for real, man. It's like he came home and should have stayed out the way. You know, stayed out the streets, bro. Ain't no love in the streets. No love outside. Ain't no love outside, bruh. It doesn't take a lot a lot to really break down this situation. Maybe the people who know what's going on inside, it probably does take a lot. But as far as reasons, you can almost determine a definite what the reasons are, bro. You know, shit is crazy. French, and French Montana is like never around his so-called homies. It's like they still stuck in the hood. Maybe there's a reason behind that madness. I don't know. I ain't trying to speculate on nothing. I'm just telling you what I see. I... You feel me, King? I'm just telling you what I see, man. Don't get mad at me, baby. Niggas be getting mad and writing all extra shit in the comments. I don't know how to turn the camera on and tell you my personal opinion. I ain't being extra with it. None of that, bro. The streets, basically, bro, they, they taking care of itself right now. They cleansing, bro. Purging, cleansing, all of that, bro. We're witnessing real-time purge and cleansing going on, bro. They say when a tree is hurt, it can heal itself and all. That's what the streets is doing, bro. They are limit, playing elimination game. And I think everybody is tag your it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Total obscurity right now, bro. Goodbye to the, the, the street ways of the old times, bro. Everything changed, bro. Lessons to the youth, man. Stay out of the streets, bro. There's way more to life than posting up on the block. I know it feels good. Trust me. I'm guilty of that, too. But there's way more to life, bro. If you ain't selling and hustling nothing outside, take your ass inside the house, bro. Honestly, bro. It's safe to say, bro. It ain't safe outside for your type of vibes or anybody or any me. I mean, even though I'm outside every day, but you know what I mean. It ain't safe. So take note of that, bruh. Someone told me a long time ago he wasn't even coke boy anymore. He told French he couldn't come back. I'm looking at my email. He couldn't come back to the Bronx. I don't know how true, true that is, if he couldn't come back to the Bronx or not. That's for the Bronx people who know that man personally to bring up that point if it's true or not. You feel me? I don't know about all that extra, bro. Pre people who moved from the Bronx used to tell me, man, they'll eat dog food before they live in the Bronx. And I used to get on them and all that. Even when I lived down there, like, folks in the Bronx would tell me, bro, like, I'd rather be in Brooklyn. I'm like, Brooklyn's the same thing. I don't get it. But I guess you got to be a New Yorker to get it, bro. It is what it is, man. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And most definitely, indeed, stay blessed, gang. Salute.